keep a key under a rock in the yard? If I hadn't known that, I would have cleaned them out years ago. All right, V said everything in the living room and on the dining room table's up for grabs. A lot of good kitchen stuff we could use. We got a mixing bowl, some pots and pans, cutting board. But you gonna start cooking now? One of us has to. Takeout's too expensive. Hey, man, ramen, some water, and a minute in the microwave. I'm all set. Ooh, look at this. Not the chaps. What do you think, huh? Dress up in leather, go cruising for some flabby dentist dudes we can roll? <laughs> hey, take a look at this crib. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, come take a look at this crib. Crib means a baby. Yeah. Yeah, what? What, you want to have a baby? You don't want a baby? Well, hold on, you do? Hell yes. All right, man, well, I don't know if you've noticed, but we don't exactly have the right equipment. Although, the way you've been talking about pans and fucking taupe furniture, you might be growing a vagina. <sighs> Help me move this thing. No. Why not? Because if we have a crib, we got to fucking put something in it. Let's grab the other end. Where are we even going to get a baby, huh? No one's going to let two ex-cons adopt a kid. So we'll steal one. What? I'm joking. Look, there's got to be a neglected Milkovich baby crawling around your family tree somewhere. You guys are like horny little rabbits. You pop out a Milkovich fucker at least once a month. I'd be a shitty dad, man. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, what if I, like, beat it or... You won't. <laughs> Spare the fireplace, poke or spoil the child. That's the kind of shit my dad always said. Come here. Fuck you. Come on. Fuck off. No, I don't want to... I hate this. You're gonna be a great dad. <laughs>